The really cool thing here is how much extra time we can see. If we look down just to the left of where we see the river in the shadow of the cloud right now, we'll see that there are layers that are slanting. And then above them, there are layers that are horizontal. Now those slanting layers are the Grand Canyon Supergroup. They are rocks that were deposited between about 1.2 billion years ago and about um, not 0.7 billion or 700 million years ago. If you add up the thicknesses of all of those going downs, it's almost three miles a sediment. It's almost three miles. Now we've got a mile on top, and then from our feet down to the unconformity, then there's three miles of sediment under that. And then if we peer down the canyon, in that deep cut down there are the old crystalline rocks, the old beautiful rocks that were cooked in the heart of a mountain range that are lava flows and sediments that add up to many more miles of rocks. And those have been cooked, and then it was eroded, and then these were put on top, and then faults that are sort of like Death Valley faults broke and dropped these down, and then it eroded on top, and then these were deposited, and then those were deposited, and then those were eroded away, and then the river cut through. And it's so cool! And it's just this immense story that just keeps being told over and over and over.